Hey guys, it's Parker here, back with part 9 of Night in the Woods. Uh, let's see the messages here. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized I completed impulse in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey, hey dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Ain't gonna say he's sorry too. Now I practice today, today, because I'm in charge and I thought and I say so. Off to work, bye. <sighs> Who should I hang out with? Beatrice or Craig? Eh, I don't know. So I'll do itty mini mini mo. Hey, hun. Hey, yeah. Come say hello, why don't you? We just ignore and leave. <laughs> hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. Oh, it's actually gray and driz drizzly out today, too. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah. Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat a few years ago. I'm really sorry, mom. About all of it. Hey May, you okay? I'm fine, got some stress too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later, I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. May is just avoiding her problems yet again. And not talking about it. I like rainy days. <laughs> How's it going, Summers? How was your Halloween? Weird, went to harvest. It's also messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in, ate candy, and watched TV. Halloween episodes are on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Sure. Autumn winds, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn ties, autumn cries. What? Uh, Cause the autumn sin? Cheating on your wife? With some gas station snack. Okay. In November. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a uh, inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazakov. Yes, Somo. You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Then Mrs. Varnish should just parch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Okay. I mean, I kinda wanna go hang out with Beatrice, but I kinda wanna do bad practice, so yeah. Let's just go to Greg then. I mean, for the other stuff you miss, I guess you need to replay the game to, um, to not miss out. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? 
Yeah. Possum Springs is built in our backs and the backs before us. This time was they didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store. Or company goods. Back at school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I mean, up the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts the guts of all bosses. <laughs> he all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow. Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? No, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley. Past the A-OK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess they are both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Uh, okay. Wait, what was this? Uh, a very long time ago. Was he... So what happened with the car? Not tell it away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So, like I said, you got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? No. Secret keeper like me. I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass the story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In a lifetime of nights and things he did. What do you want to do with that? It's part of your story now. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This is crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Perlsky. Well, that was a crazy story. Guys, please don't vandalize cars. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh... I don't think so? What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh... You should tell us it's something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, y'all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Okay, well, eh, anyway. <laughs> Hello, Greg. Sup, dude? Eh. Ugh. Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you a bad practice. Cool. What you up to? Uh, we're gonna ha head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Okay, well. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Oh, uh, I was up all night. I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out into the roof. Now I can, like, I, I don't know, run for that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee out the side of the building? Why, why, are you all, why are you guys all peeing anyway in public? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Okay, pumpkin head guy. Oh. Yeah, it's not working. Oh. 
pause. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is your thing. Um. No, no, let's try again. I. You just push the button. I am so tired. I see my vocal cords yelling. Oh no, I have failed. I just press start and panic. And anyway, I don't even know what their dreams are on. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, can have some kid and also I think was in my head after. Um, let's just ignore that uh, mistake. Um, I'll just play that song later <laughs> while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because it's scary. Okay, um, wow, that was a failure. Well, that's not what I was expecting here tonight. Are you okay, dude? No, I kind of freaked out. It, prob it probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Uh. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like from a source we could trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have like a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it. Maybe I should just hang out with Beatrice instead, instead of just going to band practice and failing completely. Okay, whatever. No, they have the local paper on file, going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we will find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the, the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Hmm? Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup later? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. Aw, oh, man. I like completely failed at that song. A anyway, the library. It is a bit windy outside, so sorry about that. Look, jobs. Weird, like when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the gravity murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Hey, closing in two hours. Uh, okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. So night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's running around here somewhere. Larry, okay. Maybe use the elevator. This is second floor, but why don't we check it out? Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like, guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? No. <laughs> Holy crap! What? It's Charity Verity! What, what's Charity Verity? How do you not know Charity Verity? I assumed it's something from school. 
The school of being five freaking years old. All right. So this was the thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Parody. It does look really hateable. It was like... What? You were kidnapped by some by a cult, okay. And when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not... Uh, okay, go on. And so that was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was taking- it was talking forever about like being kind to others and like I don't know helping an old neighbor do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft. Uh, no, that's the worst part. It's always rhymed. Charity Barity, pink nightmarity. Charity Barity, I just don't care, Rity. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity, Barity, Danger, Every Rarity. It's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Okay, I guess we'll go to the third floor. And sorry if it sounds too windy outside. Um, the weather is crazy out today. Going up. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. I'm sure it is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh right, well that's even more impressive. We're, so we're gonna go find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That was sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Alright, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Oh, you call me a friend. Oh, uh. we friends, big voice. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. True. True. All right. So, what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move. I'm steering. Ow! Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How, how do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghosts. Sure. Oop. Stuff or not. I mean, not. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna look for something ghostly. Spectral happenings. This one looks pretty suspicious. No, not that statue. Underground gases. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's go check out this one. Hey, look at this. Him, <clears throat> yeah. Looks like possum jump? Let me read it. It's possum jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out though. Go nuts. shot? Hmm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Okay. Okay, there was one suspicious one up here. Hallucinations? No ghosts to be found here. The way you say ghost, sound, it sounds like you don't believe me. Nope. No ghosts exist, man. Albino groundhog. Eh. Oh, look! Scooch, scooch, so I can see. Scooch. <laughs> Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if we're looking for ghosts, though, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw them in the old section. Oh cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history! History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. What? Pies are disappearing? This one? No ghosts! No, oh, hey, it's the old pickaxe. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Historical society. History that won't stay history. In a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this is when I wasn't in school. Okay, just storm going out outside. Um. <laughs> oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, I mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, railroad, mine, steel mail, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and craft programs. Oh well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Boogie? <laughs> Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah. Three clues, you got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. Alright, alright, let's go. Off we go. So we got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all of these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I see, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past, doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It's the same thing over and over again. So you've just been in a loop since you were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> Hey, it's Selmers. Uh -huh. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. 
thank you all for coming to the second meeting of all of the Paulson Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah. Tonight, we have new poems for myself and Fisherman Jones. Hey, it's Fisherman Jones. And Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? Ahem. <laughs> A letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories I tell friends back home. When they ask about life, out here in the six, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you. Brian. Thanks, everyone. Poor Miss Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones is the poetry for us. Uh, two, two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. <laughs> tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels. To be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime, but neither do you know, I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem, the next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs swims in the dark, must think it will be a lark, to be a fisherman like me, but what do you know, MBB? That's it. That's great, thank you, Fisherman Jones. He definitely talks to the actual fish he does! He sings to them! Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I hope for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Haha! <laughs> She's not wrong. Ahem. <laughs> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet. Baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold me more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs become rent paying jobs become living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access. You said this was a short poem, Selmers. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard. With a couch in the basement, the future is yours. Force 24-7 entrepreneurs. <laughs> what am I rapping? Okay, um, I just want a paycheck on my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement there in the house and the yard. <laughs> so now I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn this Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh, she right, entrepreneur. <laughs> I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I like your weird poem. <laughs> Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write her to hers? Nice work, Selmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Beatrice is like so done with this. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought we were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. 
So I mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? <laughs> sure is, the historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway, I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. <laughs> I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. Okay, today went well, except for that failed bad practice. A good poet thought if I die, someone should write a poem about it. Uh, I wish I finished that song even though like I didn't understand any of it. Oh, pumpkin dead guy. Okay, we're gonna try that song later. Erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yepers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought of you two getting along. We're getting along. We are. Just a bump. You two, always two alike, I guess. I got your chill and your smart assness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. I'll be fine, we're cool. I just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Okay, let's try out the song that I've failed on. Let me just look at my Switch controller. Okay, so B is there, A is there, X is there, Y is there. Okay, here we go. I think I could do this. Oh my god, it's so hard. Okay, I'm never playing that song again in my life. I literally did not know this song. Hey May, let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's pretty safe shot up to possum jump. Okay, great. Um, we never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Yo, I looked at the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just gets got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? 
There are ghosts hanging out in the old house. And then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. You're almost nice this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway. It's like right down the road. You're ru you're ruining this. Oh, in that case. You are so incredibly welcome. And also, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. I have fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... Uh, it's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? <laughs> Good night, B. Sharkle. Okay. Guess I'm gonna go to sleep too. In this game. Not a reality. <laughs> I just start snoring right now. Bedtime? Yeah. bunch of fish.
Wow, that was crazy dream. Wonder all wonder what these dreams all symbolize. Okay, um, this is where I end part nine of Night in the Woods. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.